Hey guys, Mr. Clark here. Today, let's design the perfect room. What does your perfect room look like? We can draw a floor plan, also known as a blueprint. Architects design blueprints to map out features of the building and also see what each room is used for. Today, I'm going to design a floor plan for my perfect room. What will you design for your perfect room? A bathroom? An arcade? You can design your perfect room to have whatever you'd like in it. And be creative! Remember, when we design this floor plan, we're looking at the room from above, like there's no roof. It's a bird's eye view. Let's begin by drawing four walls. I want the walls to be nice and straight, so I'll use my ruler to draw a rectangular room. I'll leave a space here for the door. Think about where you'd like your doors and windows. We can draw them right into the walls. And you know what? I'm gonna have a closet door right here. Now let's add some windows in our walls to let some sunlight in. First, I'll find the middle of my wall up here, then draw one window on either side with a little space in between. These lines just represent the window's frame. And I'll do the same thing on this wall. Good. Now let's start drawing some items inside our room, like maybe a bed. I mean, you gotta sleep, right? Okay, so I'll draw a rectangle bed here on this wall. You can draw just the basic outline of the bed so you know it's there. Or you can add lots of cool details. Take your time and be creative. Cool, now I'll draw a nightstand next to the bed. Of course, when viewing the room from above, we won't be able to see these drawers but I'll still draw them in just for fun. I'll even draw a little lamp here on top and that'll give me a little light source. Cool, now on the other side of the room, between the windows, I'll draw a big computer desk where I can make art videos and share it with you all. On that desk, I'll draw my laptop. I use a MacBook Pro. Gotta have big speakers so I can listen to music all night. I'll even draw the cords going to an outlet. The floor plan symbol for an electrical outlet is a circle with two lines attaching to the wall. You can add outlets wherever you need power. Now I'll draw my computer chair, a big comfy chair that swivels. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Ooh, I know, how about a basketball hoop? Yeah, I want a basketball hoop in my room so I can do three point shots with my friends. I'll draw it here in the corner. The backboard, the rim, and the net. And of course, a basketball to shoot. Next, I'll draw a toy chest up here on the other wall between the two windows. This is where you can keep games, Legos, and maybe art supplies to share with friends. On the other side of the computer desk, I'll draw a bookshelf. Here's where I keep all my favorite books. Books from school, comics, and other cool books I enjoy reading. Again, normally we wouldn't be able to see the books from above, but I'll draw them in anyway so we can see what it is. Now, let's see. In this corner, we'll draw an art table. Yeah. This is where we can draw, color, and do neat art crafts like painting and origami. Two chairs, one for me and one for a friend. Well, this is a pretty cool room. What else should we add? Now I'm choosing to make this little room a closet, but why don't you make it something else? Like a bathroom or make it bigger and add a home gym. You know what to do. Have fun and be creative. These are my shirts hanging up. Here are my pants. 
and I'll put my shoes here on the floor. And lastly, I'll add a rug right in the middle of my room. A big area rug with designs on it. Nice! I designed my perfect room. And send me your floor plans for your perfect room. I can't wait to see your designs. Now let's illustrate it. I'll show you how. Join me in the next video to illustrate and animate our perfect room. Subscribe to Creative Cricut for more art videos, free printables, and monthly giveaways. I hope you all had fun, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.